Hi friends, in this video we are going to look what are the four methods to combine date and time in Excel. Right now lot of people are expecting, lot of people are using this one combining date and time and uh, most of the viewers they are looking for the channel without subscribing. Please you can subscribe and watch the channel uh, till end and for the future you will get it for uh, more videos in a different way for the corporate people as well as for uh, advanced Excel also. Okay, as well as you can comment below if the video is like, if the video is useful for you, you can give a thumbs up. It will be the one of the motivation for me to give more videos on it. Okay, and um, this will be various method for uh, looking over here. It will be a uh, different uh, formulas also we are going to use. Okay, this is surely helpful for uh, helpful for everyone, even for the students as well as for uh, all sort of people. Let me go insight. This is what the data available that is date as well as for the timing. Here we are going to combine for the date and time uh, for the first method okay method one and for uh, date field it is available the first field will be month date and a year okay so what we are going to do it is a simple formula only we are going to use in the method one equal to sum and you can select for a2 as well as for comma b2 both the things we are going to combine so just you can close it you will get the figure only for the date has come why it has come only for the date in a sense respective cell has a date format only but we need to change respective cell into date as well as for the time format so what we are going to do we have to go for home and we have to select for the date as well as time format okay so over here we are uh, looking uh, format cells we are going to change the uh, format that is we required for uh, date month year as well as hours and minute okay that is what we are going to change right now so right now it is available only for the date and month year okay just uh, you can go and select for the custom in the drop down menu and uh, there should be a format as available suppose if it is not available you can type it uh, for the type field okay it is already available just you can select and track it okay this will be the uh, method one okay this is a way you can combine date and time okay right now uh, yeah it has been date and month year yeah it has been selected and some people might be asked uh, the first field uh, first uh, letter will not be a date it will be in month okay suppose if you are selecting for month in a sense automatically system will fetch for the middle of the uh, number so that's the reason same way it has come if you want to change in a sense the first time itself the first field you need to change for the date month year because already it was available month date year so we are not going to change anything else just we are combining here that's it okay i think uh, you understand for the first method okay let me move on to second method method two we are using for text formula text formula in order to combining for the date okay so let's see how we are going to uh, use the text formula while uh, comparing uh, this date as well as for the timing okay so same formula only equal to text okay just you can type it as text open bracket uh, which field we need to compare that is date comma so what is the format you required uh, that is uh, the first field will be example as the same way we can give month mm uh, open quotes in the open quotes you have to give uh, slash dd slash y y y close the quotes okay and uh, close the bracket also right now uh, we have given double m why because the uh, the first letter that means the month available for two digit as well as date also available two digit as well as for year also available for four okay right now we have given for month date year right 
so as per the system how it will take it in a sense four it will come okay after uh, completing this one i will tell you but over here we have to give for uh, dd mm yy only okay then we are going to give for ambassand symbol and open quotes space and another quotes and ambassand symbol why we are giving in a sense we need a space in between date as well as for the timing that's the reason we are giving uh, this uh, ambassand symbol as well as for the quotes also okay then we have to type it for text because we need to compare now for time also that's the reason as the same thing we are going to give text and b2 and what is the format we required uh, we have to give it in the quotes okay uh, hh colon mm then am slash pm then close the quotes and close the bracket also give us enter that's it now we are looking um yeah close the one minute close the quotes and close the bracket yes right now the same format we have received but you can look here uh, the uh, four comes first why because we have given for the month but um machine language uh, will not know Uh, which is month which is date uh, based upon uh, our thinking because earlier format available month date year but from here we have given month in a sense it has taken for the second so what uh, you have to change it date month year okay then automatically it will come uh, the same format 64 2021 i think uh, based upon your format you can change it over here okay just you can track it this is a way you can find it for uh, this is a way you can combine for the date and time under the second method okay suppose the format uh, you can look the format the first format it is available date month year okay that is a format available but uh, we have given in the wrong detail because we are uh, getting from other database it has available for month date year okay just you can track it method 2 will be over then let me go and look for method 3 okay method 3 what we are going to do uh, same formula we are going to use okay the text formula but before we have to put it for concordinate okay uh, that is what the uh, method 3 normally concordinate we are using to combining text right Uh, but right now we are using here also concordinate and what is the formula we have used for method 2 as a same formula you can copy and paste more or less it will be same only but even though that uh, that is a one of the method you can combine date and time that's the reason i am showing here just uh, for the method 2 what is the formula will be there just you can copy and paste over there and you can track it that is for the method 3 for combining date and time right now it is uh, right now i am typing this formula can coordinate and uh, op uh, open bracket text and what is the formula we have typed over there for uh, method 2 same thing copy and paste and uh, close the bracket and press enter okay and automatically the date as well as time will be combined okay more or less it will be same okay and this is a way you can do it for uh, combining date and time for the method 3 okay then let me go for method 4 method 4 will be very very uh, useful method okay if you are having able bit tools you can uh, do it in a very easy way for uh, combining uh, date as well as for the timing we don't want to use any formula so far we have used for three, uh, three formulas right suppose if you are having able bit uh, tool you don't want to use any formulas how to enable able bit data as well as tools i already given uh, one uh, video on it okay i will give uh, in the i button as well as from the description also you can click and you can view how you can enable for able bit data and based upon that you can um, you can use it okay that will be a very useful tool okay everything i explained over there in that video uh, that will be 
so various usefulness will be there okay now we are going to combine uh, date as well as time with the uh, alphabets data tool okay how we can do it from here it is available for uh, merging option okay while we are merging for two cells then automatically date as well as uh, time will be combined okay lot of usefulness will be there but over here i am uh, using able bit data only for combining date and time okay okay uh, let's see how we can uh, combine date and time over here so just you can select the data before selecting data what we have to do we have to go for merge cells it has available merge column into one merge uh, row into one merge cells into one but we require uh, we are merging column into one okay two columns available two column we are merging and those two columns come into one one column that is what we required uh, there are uh, there are three option has been given over there uh, we are going to choose for the first option and you have to select for the range okay just you have to select the range a8 to b8 okay that is what we need to select because both uh, those two field only we are going to merge right so only you need to select those two uh, field we have selected as well as already uh, column into one that we have selected and what is a separation separation we need a space but such kind of um, um, such kind of things is not available so that's the reason I have selected for comma that uh, date as well as for the time in between I required for the comma okay so that's why I am selecting for the comma and give us merge okay that's it and over here we are not going to give any formulas nothing else okay if you are having this tool it is a easy way you can do it mini work see right now it is combined what about our original data automatically come into next sheet okay this is a way we can easily combine with the help of able bit data tab tool okay uh, i think this uh, video will be very helpful for most of the people if it is uh, useful you can subscribe my channel and uh, press bell icon and uh, you can get all video as well as you can like my video if if it is useful for you and you can comment below also then only i can understand is, uh, is it reached for all the person and all the viewers kindly subscribe and uh, you can get all continuous video whichever i am posting related to interest realist as well as financial analyst and data analyst also thank you friends thank you for watching this bye